Torquay, are you having a good time? Let's move on to fight number six, brought to you by Boa Super 8. It is three rounds in the Salt Fight Series middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Christian White Lightning La Fam. Now, for the people watching at home, we have just been joined by newest UFC signee, Jack Jenkins. What's up, fellas? How are we going? Good, good. The night of fights have been amazing. You've been watching them all show. You've been, what have you been thinking of the fight so far? Great fights, great matchmaking, great venue. Um, awesome to see fights down on the surf coast and just give the local guys an opportunity to fight in front of the home crowd. And uh, yeah, I'm loving it so far. Because you're a hometown here around here, yeah? Like, it's nice to have fights in your area compared to having to drive all the way down to Melbourne or, or whatever it is. What's it? Explain to the guys watching at home what it's like to have a fight in your, yeah, your own backyard. Yeah, for sure. It, it's huge. Um, you know, a lot of these guys from Bones, even some of the guys from Melbourne as well, you find you have to fly to Perth, Gold Coast, all around Australia to get fights. So particularly for the guys from Bones, who it's an hour and a half, two hours up the road. So people can't just pop down who have kids and all that sort of stuff to watch your fight. But now, the fight during the day, great, great atmosphere here. You see lots of families and stuff. It's a really sort of family orientated event as opposed to some of those fight nights. It's just huge for these guys to be able to perform in front of their friends and family and get the opportunity to do that. So kudos to Salt and everyone who's put it together. And uh, we got another, what, six crack fights or four or five. Here's this fight number six out of fight number 12. Now I believe you know one of the fighters quite well that's in this next uh, match. Yeah, Owe, Owe Coughlin. Uh, Owe and I spent a lot of time training together on the mat set Resilience. Um, and uh, yeah, he's a really high level judoka, uh, Olympian. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see the, the improvements he's made since his last time I saw him fight. Because I know he's had a win since then. And uh, it's just going to be a really entertaining fight. I don't know much about Christian here, but I'm told that he's a very good striker. He's coached by Brenton Mumford, which is huge. Uh, Brenton Mumford, obviously one of the one and of the his OGs opponent of fighting out of the red corner. He is MMA, fighting out so of Resilience Training Center. He is Owen Cumberland. Now, the first time I saw Owen on the competition mat was at Boa Super 8, the, the premier jiu-jitsu event, you know, here in Australia. And then I found out it was his first jiu-jitsu tournament ever. And he ended up doing so well out there. Like, the guy is he's a judo black belt, if I'm correct, but also only a BJJ blue belt, but he rolls around the mats like he's a black belt. I'm sure, I'm sure you felt him on the mats. What can you say about Owen on the mats? Um, you know, that judo strength that these guys have is really, really applicable to MMA because of the way they use their whizzes and their underhooks. They can control position really well that a lot of guys won't have felt if they've come from a wrestling or a jiu-jitsu background. So uh, I'll expect Owen to be doing a lot of cage work here, using his overhooks and underhooks frequently. And if Christian gets a little overcommitted to his left or his right, I expect him to be going for a ride and uh, getting thrown around. Now Christian coming all the way down from Queensland. I thought I drove far from Melbourne to be here today. Christian making the trek all the way down from Queensland. So thank you Christian, and again decked out in MA1. Thank you for bringing us these fights. And this fight is also brought to you by Boa Super 8. I believe I did see Sai, the promoter in the crowd somewhere. He's disappeared, but I'm sure he's floating around the building. Yeah, I saw him skulking around with a can of Coke in his hand or something. I'm sure he's around, but yeah, good on you, Sai, for letting us use the streaming platform for Boa 8. Brilliant. I hope everyone at home's got good picture quality and enjoying it. Fight number six of the Salt Fight series is brought to you by Boa Super 8. Referee in charge, Greg Clanjans. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He boasts an imposing fight record of four wins for only one defeat. Standing at six foot one, he weighed in yesterday at 83.75 kilograms. He is a striker, fighting out of CMBT Training Center and all the way from Varsity Lakes, Queensland. Ladies and gentlemen, he is Christian White Lightning La Fam. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. With a record of two fights, he stands at six foot tall and weighed in yesterday at 84.1 kilograms. He is an Australian judo representative and an Olympian. And he fights out of Resilience Training Center, trained by the multi-time Olympian Dan Kelly and the rock star Callum Potter. He is Owen Cutland. <laughs> Fighter
Columbus to centering. Um, okay, gentlemen, we've been through the rules. You need to protect yourselves at all time and obey my commands at all time. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch gloves if you want. Back to your corner. CMBT Training Centre really become a powerhouse over the last couple of years. Seems to be something of a super facility. Cool to see them down in Torquay for the show. Judge, yeah, very judge, cool. Judge. We're going to um, oh, we're going to find out really quickly. Are you ready? What? what? We're going to find out really quickly what game plan Brenton has for Christian here. You'll see really early on whether he's on the front foot working a jab or he's working off the back foot more, and then we'll see what they what they're planning to do. There's a big high kick coming from Blue to open up. Now, this is going to be Christian's last amateur fight. After this, he will go pro. So he has picked the biggest and the best for his final amateur fight here at Salt Fight Series. And that's a great way to get your experience before going pro, uh, looking to get the big challenges, uh, rack up some experience before resetting that record and having a run at the pro ranks. You see, when Christian clinched there, he had the perfect defense. He had a nice high whizzer and a frame with his left hand. And Owen's experience and strength there, he pretty much just crushed that and beat it immediately. Yeah, he's stuck on his back quite hard here. He's, Christian can do all the right things, but when someone is as tough and resilient as Owen, it's it's tough to impose any sort of will here. Absolutely. He's on the back here now. One deep hook. One hook in. I'd like to see Christian slide over to the fence and use the fence to wipe off Owen off his back. Make sure he can't get that far hook in. You can hear his coach is calling for him to find the cage. He really needs to turn to that right side here because he's just biding his time until Owen gets that other hook in or before that, finds a choke. And as I say it, there he goes. Second he's got hook. two hooks in. Very difficult position for Chris. He's on the chin here. He's going to finish this. This is deep. There's some Khabib Connor reminiscence happening right away. It's over the so chin. The it's it's all over. Owen oh, takes oh, oh. the win in round one. Quick work for Owen Cochran. That's what we're talking about there in terms of just a, just a huge skill differential with that wall work, that fence stuff. Because Christian did absolutely the right thing when they did engage on the cage. He had the whizzer, he had the frame, and Owen's just on another level above where you see when they clinch here, boom, whizzer, frame, this is perfect. But Owen, super strong, really high on the underhook and just wins that. What a nice little trip he did there. Kicked his foot out, got him off balance. Yeah, Christian did come up, but again, I was stuck on him like no tomorrow. Yeah, brilliant. Really good to see how we get in there and get the win. I'm sure Christian will be back. We didn't get to see much of his skill set tonight, but you know he'll take some he'll take some good lessons from this, and I'm sure Brenton will have him back in good order fairly soon. Absolutely. It's all learning at the end of the day. Difficult to see a fighter kind of not really get the chance to get started and, and show the extent of their skills, but that's the game we play. No doubt, no doubt. Fighters to centering. I think the first time I saw Owen smile or fight just then. <laughs> the results of fight number six of Salt Fight Series brought to you by Boa Super 8. Your winner via submission at 1 minute 33 of round one. Give it up for Owen Coughlin. Fitting that about that ends via Rear Naked Choke is sponsored by one of Australia's premier grappling promotions, Boa Super 8. As we mentioned earlier, Boa promoter Sai Naji is in the house tonight enjoying the fights and what a big night he is putting on next week. Rebellion Muay Thai live from the Melbourne Pavilion, dual WBC Muay Thai double header. Joanne La versus Barbara Aguilar. Australia's Chad Collins versus Thailand's Yod IQ PK Senchai. I am staying in Victoria until those fights. I'm that excited for it. If you like live fights, if you can get yourself.